Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Divinity Original Sin 2. It's been a while, if you're watching this live, it's been a while since my last upload of this because we focused on XCOM. As such, we just got a purging wand, that's nice. What we did last time is we're on this island here and we're going through and collecting all of the uh, symbols we need from each of the gods. We have a lot of them so far. Next we have to go down here, the Shadow Prince is down here, which is interesting. But last time we did the Temple of Duna, which is this one down here. I want to, like, kind of explore this area here a bit. Um, I also want to do Zolstissa, so... I think first things first... Um, something I'm actually going to do is grab Tactical Retreat and put it on the top bar as well, just because it's going to make it easier for me going forward. Uh, so I don't have to keep switching bars. But we're going to head up this way because this should take us down. Oh, yeah. Um, to the Shadow Prince. Which will be interesting. Red Prince. At last we meet, or rather, meet with your awareness of my presence. How often I've stood by you but an arm's length away, a shadow within the shadows. Untouchable. Almost like meeting an old friend. Yeah, some interesting shit. His eyes are black holes in a black-skinned sky. He bows with the deference of a noble among nobles, swinging ever so playfully between sincerity and sarcasm. I suppose I should start with an apology for the attempts on your life. Talk about getting off on the wrong foot, wouldn't you say? Wave away the apology. All you're interested in are the reasons for his actions. How very magnanimous of you. You may find this hard to believe. But given different circumstances, I would have been quite content to let you live. Let you play the Emperor from your golden throne in your golden city. Alas, certain events beyond even my control were set in motion. Ripples became waves. I had to act. And so I arranged for you to meet with an unfortunate self-inflicted end. Tell me, your majesty, do you know what it takes to force a succubus into submission? Hmm. I know now. Yes, so you do. Must have been quite the display of source. Very impressive. It's almost a pity we find ourselves on such opposite sides. All because of who you are, and all because of who she is. It was Sadha who set events in motion, Red Prince. If you were the ripple, she was the wave. She's a tidal hmm. wave that will take wing, become a murder of dragons, red as the setting sun, that will alight every corner of this world with the terrible splendor of fire. A murder of dragons? Ask why he uses that particular term of venery. Uh, Sadha, by the way, is the female red lizard that we found and had sex with. To make a point, for it is murder they would commit, and it would be murder that would be committed upon them. Mm. The simple truth of the matter is that, yes, we lizards were dragons once. The mightiest creatures to rule sky, earth, and sea. But such was the jealousy of our power that all other races united against us and brought us to the brink of extinction. No one knows what happened next. Was it wizardry? Was it Zol Stissa who took mercy on us even then? Suddenly we were dragons no more. Lizards instead. And as lizards we flourished and built an empire once more. But the House of Dreams trades in prophecy. They've always known we could be dragons again. For 
One day a man and a woman will be born, and their skin will be red, and the fruit of their union will be great red dragons. So he tried to kill you because history might repeat itself. As dragons, we could rule the world. You're nothing but a coward. Yes, in a brief moment of supremacy, followed by annihilation. Don't care, I'll take the power. I think we get this vest of wonder if we kill him. And the way this conversation's going, we're probably going to kill him. Listen to me. I am the House of Shadows. This is my role. I see the great games in motion. Allow them their flux when they advance for good. Cut them short when they advance for evil. Even if that means doing evil. The renaissance of dragons would spell the end of our race, plain and simple. To that end, I needed you to die, but you proved to be all too worthy an opponent. An opponent, I would now see an ally. Ally with me, Red Prince. Find Sadha and kill her. If she births dragons, all other races will unite against us, and this time they will destroy us for good. We were spared last time. The condition of our continued existence was that we'd never let the dragon roar again. You look each other in the eyes, like two chess players contemplating their next move. What will yours be? Hmm. I could lie. Huh. This boss wants to kill the mother of your children, but he could help you find her. Feign agreement, say you'll kill her. This is too much to bear, you could never kill your lover. Attack him out. I'm just gonna you attack him. A dual pose with composed elegance. All of him becomes malice. Traitor. You insist to advance for evil, and so I must cut you short. Head first. He draws his weapon, ready for the final confrontation between the red and the shadow prince. Yeah, so I'm gonna just head up here, Lucer. <laughs> I want the high ground. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now we can go fight. Okay. So, as you can see here, there's a bunch of shadows hanging about. I can't see any of them because I think they're all invisible. Alright, first things first, let's set some rain. There we go, there's one. Two. Which one's this one? He's not going for a while. I think there's probably a few back here as well. Hmm. But, that should have me standing in water. It doesn't, annoyingly. How much magic armor is that? 600? How much damage does this do? 4? Yeah, I misclicked. I tried to click above the end turn button and I accidentally just clicked the end turn button. Oh well, that's annoying, but I guess I can deal with it. One way of doing things. Alternatively, cool. Drinking potions. Reveal yourself. 
It sounded like he climbed a ladder. Active shot, it's fine. Goddamn invisible bastards. Alright. Well, I have all my AP now, so that's something. Um, we're gonna do Blood Rain here. It's not really gonna do much. My hope is it reveals the Shadow Prince, which it did not. That's a shame, but I can deal with it. I may as well haste myself. Also, may as well get to high ground if I'm going to do that. Magic damage. Stunned. Stunned. Not quite stunned. And he's got a shitload of earth immunity. Okay. Alright, first things first, let's do a teleport here. We kind of want to do as much AoE damage as we possibly can. Let's do a chain lightning. We have one. Let's make it rain. No idea where the Shadow Prince is. There he is. He's still a Necrofire, which is hilarious. Can't get me with a backstab, which is nice. This one's annoyingly far away. She's starting to take actual damage at this point, which is a bit worrying. Alright. Seems stupid not to just keep doing damage on these fuckers. Let's do this. One, because it's new and you guys haven't seen it before. Notice I now have a demon hovering above me. Um, cool. Um, can't do a whole lot. I can do global cooling. Alright, let's go over here. Winter Blast. Nice. Um, they want a chameleon cloak? I'm going to chameleon cloak. Oh, I can't turn invisible because I'm marked. Interesting. Trying to do magic damage on me is not going to work very well. Diseased? Who throws a disease grenade? Hmm, reactive shot on her too. I'm still not that worried about Lusa. I think she can handle herself pretty well, even though she's currently acided, diseased, marked. I mean, wet doesn't really do anything. Um, okay. Terrify him. 
Gets rid of like all his magic armor pretty much. Get out of the fire, Solora, please. One, two, three. And turn. It's going hard for Losa for some reason. I don't necessarily know why. Um... I mean, he's already on fire, so we may as well spontaneously combust him. And then... Searing Dagger him. And... Why the hell not? Poison Dart him, that'll finish him. Ugh. That's stupid. Um, fucking just hit him. I want to get the cat out of the fucking fire. Luckily, the cat has a million magic armor, but it's just stupid that he stands in the fire. Alright. Alright, there's only two left. So I'm not particularly worried about them. That one's stunned. Um, just do damage to this one. Frozen. Solara, get out of the fucking fire. Standing in fire. Um, teleport that cunt down here, and then let's do some damage. Stop standing in fire, stupid lizard. Lizard? It's not a lizard. Um, <laughs> alright, so let's loot the Shadow Prince, and we get a whole bunch of shit. And let's loot the Assassins, too, because why not? Now, while we're here, let's look through their camp, see if they have anything of particular note. It doesn't look like they do. I don't see any chests or anything, for instance. Oh, <laughs> it's just a seat. <laughs> Seems they've murdered a lot of the Black Ring here. Which I guess makes sense. They look like they're capable. Certainly. But while we're here, let's grab this. This is the Shrine for Zol Stissa. Oh yeah. Losa, come here. Cool. Alright. Bunch of pur pur purged corpses. Altar to Soul Sister. Hello. The air is thick with heavy flakes of ash. The altar before you seems to radiate heat as you approach. Kneel before the altar and pray to Soul Sister. There is a blinding flash, and you are surrounded by flame. It licks your skin, but does not burn. It dances in your hair, but does not singe. You feel a curious peace. Well, I don't actually have hair, but no, okay. No. You see Zol Stissa staring down at you from a throne of embers. Above her is the emblem of a sun, once aflame but now dim and fading. Go, my prince. Find the well of ascension. Do what must be done. The vision fades, and once again you find yourself at the altar. Faint embers of ash scorching the fabric of your clothes. Well, she just told us, so that made things easier. Um, I did see cave entrance down here, which is interesting. Let's go have a look at that, shall we? There's a weird thing here. Reading of the wonders of Zolstissa, it's clear where her people get their feelings of supremacy from. 
It's ironic him saying that. Hello. You, you there. Prithee, goodly traveller, might I prevail upon you to answer a question? Tell the grab to fire away. You see, I am on a mission most grave. I seek a sorcerer most foul, most reviled, most feared. Her name is... His pincers scissor wildly. Scepter the Ineffable! For those with a very good memory, Scepter the Ineffable is the crab that we found on literally the first act of the game. Have you heard tell of this wicked beast on your travels? So you remember such a crab, you met her in Fort Joy. Oh, oh no. You spoke to her. Face to whatever you call the odd frontly part of your person. I regret to inform you, you haven't much longer to live then. Now that she has your scent, it won't be long until Scepter tracks you here and guts you like a minnow. You have my sympathy. Salute solemnly and take your leave. The hunt continues. Imperio, away! Absolutely ridiculous. Um, I think I may have even killed that crab as well, which is the funny part. Um, so we're at the edge here, but before I end this episode, one, there's a chest here. Or a reliquary, as I should say more accurately. Um, let's see, that takes me up here to stuff that I don't... There's a chest here. I was going to say stuff I don't care about, but chest I care about. Um, up here, is there anything I care about? It's a pile of sauce, but for the most part, don't really give a shit. Um, so, as I said, a couple of things I want to do here. There's a blind priestess up here, who I may want to talk to. But, I'm more interested in this. Eh, didn't have much there, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm going to head back to the Shadow Prince. The reason being is I want to talk to his ghost, if that I can at all. Which I'm 90%, probably more than 90% sure that I can. And while we're here, we'll see if there's anything else here worth talking to. Hello. Sata must die. She must. Consume his sauce. Do not do this. Do not do this. <laughs> you tried to kill me, bitch. Hello, Black Ring Defiler. Did he send ya? Did he send ya? This ain't right. This ain't how it's supposed to be. This ain't the promise. They always think they're gonna get respawned. They're not. They're just gonna die, because I'm gonna kill them. Um, alright. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat these guys with Losa just to get back up to full. Gotta always remember to actually eat the corpses. Which sounds ridiculous, but that's literally what I'm doing. Uh, yoinkity yoink. Consume the sauce. I feel like sauce vampirism, like the cooldown is too long. Although I guess, nah, even then, like it's not that powerful that you're going to worry about using it that often in combat. So, that one. Like, you're not going to be using it so much in combat. Like, it could be, like, literally a one-turn cooldown, and I don't think it would make a difference. Um, nevertheless, I want to head this way. Because... There's some chests and stuff along here that I actually want to get to. Lucky rabbit's poor gold and unidentified stuff. Cool. I'm pretty sure all of this is, like, randomized loot, but... Nevertheless... Lisa, do a jump for me, please. So we can climb down there. Is there benefit to me doing so? Kind of, because I can get behind here. Up to this reliquary. But I think that's the only benefit for me. 
I'd probably jump up here too. Yep. Ugh. Bad camera angles. So I then should just wait for a second, and that'll give me a tactical retreat. Um, you might, you know what I actually might do is just um, cut out my parts jumping around here, and actually just no, don't jump into the lava, you crazy fucker. Um, I guess maybe I can climb up here and jump from here. Um, I may just cut out all the uh, walking around and just leave in the parts where I collect the things I'm going to collect. Um, I mean, I'm already here, so... I might as well just collect this one. Um, but from this point... Charm arrow, kind of useful. If I ever used a bow, which I don't. Um, but from this point, I'm just going to cut back whenever I find anything particularly interesting. All right, we're back. I found a reliquary with a chicken claw scroll and an eternal plate. Um, and also up here, I've got to find. I found something. I found something. Good part about having high wits, I suppose. An eternal artifact. Cool. Um, I want to head over here because there's like a camp over here. So this is where we're going to head next. I think I can probably just stay with you. Well, have you guys stay with me for this part. Because we can actually get over here relatively easily, I think. Because from here, we should be able to jump to here. And then teleport down. Hmm. Any ghosts here? Seemingly not. Hmm. An elven skeleton and a ghost skeleton. I guess these are previous pilgrims, as it were. I've spotted something. I have no idea where this goes. Abandoned service tunnel. The relic we're here. With that artifact, I'll take. Calisera. Did I just break my way into the place? Into the place. Loom above you. One step closer to the council. One huh. step closer to divinity. The others must surely be thinking the same. After all, only one of you can ultimately ascend. Time for an honest discussion, perhaps. So, I guess this is it. I can't see two ways about it. I need to be myself again. Finally. I can't risk getting shut out by this demon. It wants to keep me quiet. To rule in place of me. I... I need to make sure I'm strong enough that it can never seize control again. I won't let it make me silent in my own skin. I need to ascend. Hmm. Constitution Persuasion. Ask her to think about all you've been through together. You've done your best by her when you could, even if you didn't always succeed. Nice. Let's do this. Nice. Yeah, so... Th th <laughs> Apparently you can just bypass all the bullshit with the gods and just... Fucking sneak in here, which is hilarious. I'm not gonna do that. Because I still have to kill the Sallow Man. Uh, which is gonna be next episode, because we're already sitting at time, pretty much. Um, I'm going to make these episodes a bit longer because I want to try and see if I can actually complete the, the playthrough before um, before whatchamacallit comes out. There, I completed all that. Got all that. Yeah, I fully, fully explore this place. Nice. Uh, so literally the only place I have left to go up here is up here to find Alexander. Let's uh, fast travel here. Uh, for a couple of reasons. Who is that? Oh yeah, Krug the, 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 the troll. Um, 
this is where we're gonna go next episode. The Sallow Man is in here. I'm gonna kill him because, I mean, honestly, he's been trying to kill me. So much with the sh like with the Shadow Prince, he gonna die because he tried to kill me. Therefore, I kill him. And then I think there's two more gods we've got to do, and then I'm gonna go through the front door. Even though, funnily enough, I can just go in the back way. That's hilarious. I didn't know that was a thing, but now I do. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So if you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Where I think we're going to kill Solo Man. I think that's what I've pretty much decided I'm going to do. Cool. See you then, guys.